There is a craft to making money as a framer creator. A couple of weeks ago, I asked all of you on X to submit your framer marketplace profile so I could roast them. So in this video, we're going to do exactly that so you too can become a better framer creator. Let's go. Okay, so as I mentioned, I asked you guys to submit your creator profile. You've submitted a lot of them. So we'll go through some of them again today. But if you do want to be involved with more videos like this, feel free to follow me on X. So let's start with Gustav Flaubert here. He says he's a creative collective of art directors, designers, and framer experts creating outstanding templates to help brands and small businesses stand out in a bold way. Okay, let's look at this from a high level quickly. I want to get into the copy here because I think that's really important. Number one, from an aesthetic point of view, 10 out of 10. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the work. These thumbnails are absolutely incredible. And all these templates feel like they're part of the same family. And I think what you're starting to really create here is a bit of like a a bit of a brand, right? Like I can tell that this template belongs with this template. So you could actually potentially create a world where you're uh, creating this ecosystem around this sort of aesthetic that you've got here. And then when someone wants a template like this, they know and have confidence that your work is going to be at a very high standard. So I absolutely love that. And I can see you've got a website here as well. Let's check that one out. Again, love it. I can see you do some Webflow templates too. Feel super on brands, super great. Uh, and then in terms of like how you're actually positioning yourself here, I do like how uh, it, it's a little broad, if anything, but I do like how you're trying to communicate it, creating outstanding templates. Again, that can mean a lot of different things to help brands, help brands and small businesses. Again, that's a little vague, but I do like the, the end here of like stand out in a bold way. Now, I think especially with like the framer marketplace and just positioning yourself in general, you want to be very clear in terms of who you're targeting. And while you are still being a bit vague in terms of like who you're actually serving, this part at the end here, that's your value proposition. You want brands who want to stand out in a bold way. That's the value prop. And I think you should lean into that more. And again, like the work obviously showcases this. It's very beautiful. And as you can see, you're doing pretty well in terms of getting some visitors on these pages. Uh, I'd recommend obviously filling out the blanks here and just adding an extra thumbnail just so it's not empty. And then even in terms of like adding your descriptions for this, I think you've done a pretty good job. Everything feels like it's part of the family yet again. So overall, really, really good start. Uh, and I just think a couple of tweaks to the actual positioning in terms of uh, who these templates are actually for could go a long way. And just looking at some of the work here too, like you've got this agency portfolio template, which by far is an incredible template. And I'm sure a lot of people have actually picked this up, but it doesn't necessarily align to what you're talking about here, which is to help brands and small businesses. Not Again, agencies can fall under this, but it's not necessarily designers. Okay, so next we have Kanishk Duby. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, we have a bunch of different templates here. Uh, so let's actually take a look. Now, the first thing, just from high level glance, there's a bit missing. There's no cover image. Uh, this graphic is very low resolution. There's no description. You need to communicate to people through either visuals or words what you actually do and who you serve. Uh, but it looks like you got four templates up. Each template looks pretty good. Let's actually take a look at these. Good use of imagery here, good use of mock-ups. I think I love the description that you're going in here. This could be easier to read and make this a bit more of a checklist. So there's a little bit of um, just layout issues there, but everything else looks fairly solid. I think some of these thumbnails could do a little bit of work. They kind of uh, blend in a little bit too much and a little bit generic. Like maybe you could actually have a bit more of a warp or uh, a bit of a transform on them to really make them come alive. And then again, just figure out what your actual positioning is there. Make it very obvious for someone who lands on your profile who you serve. Okay, so next we have Penta Clay. Now, it looks like they've got quite a few templates already, which is awesome. 
Now, what I love about this firstly, from a consistency point, and they kind of dropped it off on these recent templates here, but these first few, you notice we kind of have this border around each one of these thumbnails. This is great because we're creating a brand recognition pattern and we can keep using this pattern. So I'm unsure why you've necessarily dropped that off here, but I actually really do like this. And like when I see a template on the marketplace, especially if I'm looking at multiple different options, just that sort of like subtle recognition of this pattern here is actually going to be quite powerful in terms of standing out, especially when the marketplace has thousands of templates. I really like your description here too, in terms of how it's structured. So you've got a bit of a, um, you know, our why statement, and then you've got a bit of content here uh, in terms of actually validating who you are and why you're good. So 43 sites and templates live, love that. Over 1,200 customers, uh, 12,900 website builds, which I'm not exactly sure what that's referring to uh, exactly. So Maybe that could be a little bit clearer. And then again, the the testimonials are good here. Uh, but again, I, these could be from anyone, right? Maybe you could uh, include who these are from just as a little value add. But I think in terms of like how this is written, it's, it's really quite nice. Um, and let's check out your website as well. Access to 30 plus high converting Framer and Figma templates. Again, pretty good. I think like you're very much to the point. My only concern uh, I would say is it's not super clear who you're serving. And this is probably the big thing that a lot of you are gonna take away from this video. The more templates that go out there and the more people actually creating stuff in the frame of marketplace, naturally the more saturated it becomes. So it's really important that you actually figure out who you're serving so you can serve them well. And I think the pitfall that a lot of creators fall into is they try to serve everyone. They just try to build templates for small businesses or agencies or other designers. And it's a bit of a pit where I think if you can really service specific types of people, you'll become known and you actually have a lot more success. And then what's really interesting that Penta Clay is doing here is they're actually trying to upsell on the page here too, which I'd be really interested to see how this performs. It could perform well. And it'd be interesting to see the data, right? Because I think a lot of people who buy templates, they just need one template. They don't necessarily need the bundle. Maybe they do if they're an agency and they're just trying to like spit out websites really quickly. And maybe that's who you're targeting here. But I think if you're just trying to target a specific service provider or a specific type of niche, like obviously this one's a little bit more um, digital agency focused. So I think this sort of like upsell makes sense. But let's say if you had a real estate template, you know, probably you don't need to sell a bundle. It doesn't necessarily align with the person who's buying it. But I do like the concept that you're upselling and you're giving additional value as part of this initial pitch. Okay, so next up we have Sana. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. Uh, so she is a web designer and framer expert based in Gothenburg, Sweden. And you're really utilizing the marketplace, which I absolutely love. You've got sites, you've got templates, you've got components, and you've got vectors. So let's look through each one of these. Now, because you're a framer expert, you get some extra details here, which is awesome. Firstly, in terms of your description, I love this. I actually think like simplicity is sometimes best, especially because frame is quite early on and people are searching for certain keywords and searchable content is by far the biggest factor in terms of sales on the framer marketplace. So for example, here, obviously web designer, that kind of goes without saying, but the word framer expert alongside your location here is actually really critical because when someone in Google's or inside the marketplace searches for Framer Expert Sweden, you're gonna come up. And I actually think that's a massive value add and a massive opportunity for yourself. And then obviously you've got some more information here to kind of validate that. And you've got your website as well, which super beautiful website, looks awesome. And then you've got your sites listed here. You've got a bunch of awesome templates. Again, these templates kind of feel like they're part of the same family, which I'm totally for. This one feels a little bit different and out of place to your existing sort of templates. But, you know, I think it's okay. You've got some components. You've got some vectors, which is a new sort of release. This is super cool. And I think what's really powerful, especially in the components and vectors, and my presumption is going to be these don't perform as well uh, or aren't necessarily big like 
client generators for you. But I think what's really good for components and vectors is that they're validating your profile on the marketplace. Meaning the work that you do just already by having sites, templates, components, and vectors without even diving too deep into your work, very high level, I can see that you're a pro at Framer, which especially if you're a client is going to be a big upsell. So thank you to those creators for submitting their portfolio to be roasted. There's a ton you can learn from these. And I'm actually going to leave that Twitter link down below. So you can actually go check out everyone else's marketplace profiles too. I honestly think you should just take a look because there's a ton you can probably learn from other people. Not only what to do, but also what not to do as well. And while it's hard to provide generic advice in terms of like how to make your marketplace profile on Framer really great. The one thing I kind of see over and over again is to not be generic and to actually figure out who you're serving and communicate that specifically. But if you want more Framer videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel because we're putting out new Framer content every single week. And if you are interested in some Framer plugins that we've made, I'll leave the link to our marketplace down below where we have over seven amazing plugins to let you do more in Framer. But until next time, I'll catch you later.